called the Hydrated Folk Zombie, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make brushes in Paint on Sci version 2.0 so you can have cool brushes just like this one. One of the things that you have to understand is that to create these brushes, you have to be using the second version of the program. These are not going to work in the first version, sadly. It's recommended that you're using an updated version as well. With that all said, let's start. To be able to create these brushes, I'm going to hop into Sai. Then we're going to create a new document. This canvas has to be 1 to 1 ratio, 501 pixels wide. Go to the color settings and pick black right there. Hit OK. Then pick the color white to make your brush. Preferably, you're going to do this in a separate layer. Or you can just import a shape there. After that, you're gonna merge everything and save it as a BMP file. Now you're gonna follow this path right here. So you go to your documents, system AX, settings, brush form or scatter, depending on what brush you'd like. If you choose any brush that is not a scatter one, you go to brush form, brush shape, and place the file there. And if you want a scatter brush, you're gonna be placing the files right here in the scatter brush fold. However, there's something that you have to keep in mind. You see, this BNP file that we just created is in RGB. Sci brush tips for brushes with scatter engines can only be used in grayscale. So you can either convert this file using a secondary art program that allows you to do the conversion like Photoshop or Creative, for example, or you can use a non-like channel converter. I'm gonna link an option of a channel converter right down below so you can use it. Of course, I believe it's way safer and more reliable installing a free art application that gives you that option, but you can do whatever you believe works best for you. Now that you have your BMP file converted to grayscale, you're gonna place where they're supposed to be, as explained previously. To be able to make your brush tip now show up inside, you're gonna need a second file that is gonna follow along with that file, which is gonna be the settings file, which looks pretty much like this. You're already gonna have access to a settings file from another brush that is pre-installed in Sci 2.0. You're gonna copy that file and you're gonna rename it with the name of the new brush that you're making. In this case, mine is this one. Now that's done, if Sci is closed, you can open it. If it is open, close it and reopen it. Select a brush and go to the brush settings. Now that you're there, you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see the name of the brush that you've just done. You're gonna pick it, you're gonna play with the settings, and now you will officially have a new image brush. Granted, this is the way that I've been doing for the longest time I have been using Paint to Sight. I do not know if there is a right way of doing this. This is just the way that works. So that's the way I'll continue doing that whenever I need to test a new brush. Hopefully in the future, the developer of Paint to Sight is gonna add multi-channels such as CMYK, grayscale, maybe a little bit of color proofing, which would be really useful. At least with these options, you would be able to create the brush tips just using Sci and not any third party art application or converter. But anyway, this is pretty much the tutorial. In case you have any questions or would just like to show a little bit of support, please consider liking this video Consider subscribing, I post speed paints that I use in Paint Tools Hide 2.0 and you might like it. I'm also going to be selling my brush set with the brushes that I use the most as well as a free demo brush set with three free scary brushes for you to play with and also three more for you to play with with bristle and gems for you see which one you like the best. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Bye for now.